हाय स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंट केमिकल कंपाउंड्स एंड देयर फार्मूलास इन दिस क्लास मेनली वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट फिजिकल एंड केमिकल चेंजेस एंड आल्सो वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट हैपन इन ए केमिकल रिएक्शन देयर आर टू टाइप ऑफ चेंजेस नेमली physical and chemical changes there are two type of changes they are physical change and chemical change for example if you observe melting of ice we know that when ice is heated it will convert into water when water is heated it will converted into water vapor again when water vapor is cooled it will convert into water when water is cooled again it convert into ice so melting of ice is a physical change in physical change no new substance are formed only there is a change in physical state melting of ice is a physical change next one if you observe rusting of iron rusting of iron it is a chemical change in rusting new substance are formed here we will observe rusting of iron we will see another example ripening of fruits ripening of fruits also chemical change here we can observe ripening of fruits next one formation of curd formation of curd it is also chemical change we cannot get back milk when milk converted into curd we cannot get back milk so it is a chemical change next one sublimation of iodine few substance will convert from solid to gas directly the process of conversion of solid to gas without reaching liquid state is called sublimation iodine will undergo sublimation ammonium chloride will undergo sublimation camphor will undergo sublimation dry ice will undergo sublimation sublimation of iodine sublimation also physical change by cooling again we will get solid form here we can observe sublimation sublimation of dry ice solid carbon dioxide is called dry ice now we will see the difference between physical change and chemical change physical change it is the temporary change physical change is the temporary change chemical change it is the permanent change chemical change is permanent change in physical change no new substance is formed there is change in only physical properties in physical change no new substance is formed only there is change in physical properties in chemical change new substance are formed with entirely different physical and chemical properties in chemical change new substance are formed they having different physical and chemical properties physical change can be reversed by simple physical methods physical change can be reversed by heating or by cooling we can be reverse the reaction but chemical change cannot be reversed by simple physical methods example for physical change melting of ice sublimation these are the example for physical change example for chemical change digestion of food respiration rusting of iron ripening of fruits 
all these are example for chemical change now we will see activities activity 1 take about 1 gram of quick lime chemical formula for quick lime is calcium oxide cao add 10 ml of water in a beaker first of all take about 1 gram of quick lime and add 10 ml of water in a beaker we notice that calcium oxide react with water and form calcium hydroxide we can observe that when calcium oxide react with water a new substance is formed that is nothing but calcium hydroxide in this process heat energy is released when we touch the beaker we will observe that it is hot in this process heat energy is released when we touch the beaker we will feel that it is hot calcium oxide react with water to form calcium hydroxide this is the chemical equation calcium oxide react with water to form calcium hydroxide a red litmus turns into blue when dipped in the above solution when red litmus is dipped in calcium hydroxide red litmus turns into blue so we can say calcium hydroxide is a base here we can observe that red litmus turns into blue color when dipped in calcium hydroxide solution now we will see another activity activity 2 take 100 ml of water in a beaker and dissolve a small quantity of sodium sulfate first of all take one beaker take 100 ml of water in a beaker and add small quantity of sodium sulfate na2so4 take 100 ml of water in another beaker take second beaker take 100 ml of water in that beaker and dissolve a small quantity of barium chloride barium chloride formula bacl2 observe the color of solution obtained observe the color of solutions obtained in the beaker now we add sodium sulfate solution to barium chloride solution now we add sodium sulfate solution to barium chloride solution observe the color of mixed solution when we add sodium sulfate to barium chloride a new substance is formed there is a change in color here we can observe addition of sodium sulfate to barium chloride white barium sulfate precipitate formed in this reaction white barium sulfate precipitate is formed the reaction is sodium sulfate react with barium chloride to form sodium chloride and barium sulfate barium sulfate is the precipitate precipitate is nothing but an insoluble compound in the water that is the precipitate an insoluble compound in the water is the precipitate here we took sodium sulfate solution in test tube barium chloride is added to sodium sulfate when barium chloride is added to sodium sulfate it forms white insoluble compound that is precipitate now we will discuss activity 3 take few zinc granules in a conical flask take few zinc granules in a conical flask add about 5 ml of hydrochloric acid to zinc granules add 5 ml of hydrochloric acid to zinc granules observe the changes in the conical flask we will observe gas bubble will form on the zinc granules you will observe the formation of gas bubbles 
on the surface of zinc granules. Bring a burning splinter near the gas filled bubbles. If you place burning splinter near the gas filled bubbles, we will observe that it will put up with pop sound. The gas present in the bubbles burns with a pop sound indicating hydrogen gas. It will put up with pop sound. It indicates it is a hydrogen gas. Zinc react with hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride and release hydrogen gas. From this activity we can conclude that in some chemical reaction there may be liberation of gas or evolution of gas. From activity 1, 2, 3 we can conclude that in a chemical reaction original substance lose their characteristic properties. In a chemical substance original substance will lose their characteristic properties. New substance formed with different physical states and colors. New substance are formed they having different physical properties and different chemical properties. Their physical states are different. Their colors are different. From activity 1 we can conclude that chemical changes may be exothermic or endothermic. Chemical changes may be exothermic or endothermic. In exothermic reaction, heat is evolved. In endothermic reaction, heat is absorbed. Exo means outside. In exothermic reaction, heat is evolved. In endothermic reaction, heat is absorbed. From activity 2, we can conclude that they may form an insoluble substance known as precipitate. They may form an insoluble substance is called precipitate. From activity 3, we can conclude that in a chemical reaction, gas may be evolved. In a chemical reaction, gas may be evolved. These are the conclusions we learned from the three activities.